Hey, I never got a chance to properly thank you for helping me take out Winlock and Barnes. Oh, was that what you wanted for Christmas? For them to die? You're welcome! Merry Christmas! You stuck your neck out for me. I don't forget sh I mean, things like that. Who? You can curse, it's fine! Why he do you keep doing that? <laughs> he doesn't want to! It's not about you, it's about a promise I made. When I left the Capital Wasteland, I didn't just leave Little Lamplight behind. I left my family behind. Had a beautiful wife named Lucy, and a son we named Duncan. He's the one I made my promise to. The promise to clean up my act and to be a better person. I guess that sounds pretty stupid coming from a guy who shoots people for a living. Must have had a good reason to leave him behind. <laughs> pretty insufferable, were they? My son, he's sick. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. One day he's playing out in the fields behind our farm. The next he took a fever and these blue boils popped up all over his body. Last I saw, he was almost too weak to walk. Sounds like bubonic plague. I didn't dare ask him to come with me. Honestly, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. I, then what are you doing here? Spreading the plague around to everyone else. Why are you here? Maybe you should find a doctor. Every doctor I've talked to is worthless. I never even heard of the disease. I don't need them. I need someone like you. What am I gonna You've do? You've done so much for me. I feel horrible asking for more. But if you're willing to risk it, I might have a way we could save him. Uh, okay, how risky are we talking? Look, I'm not going to lie to you. It's no walk in the park. If it was easy, I would have already done it myself. Look, I really need your help on this one. Duncan needs you too. Yeah, sure, call me in. I was hoping you'd say that. A few months before we met, I bumped into a guy named Sinclair who claimed his buddy caught some kind of disease. I thought he was wasting my time until he said his partner broke out in blue boils. They dug up information about a cure at a place called MedTech Research. They even managed to grab the building's lockdown security coats. Unfortunately, Sinclair's buddy died before they were able to break into the facility. I mean, there's no way that's a coincidence, right? It might be. MedTech has to be the place. I guess. Can you trust this Sinclair dude? To be honest, I don't know him from Adam. But he brought up the blue boils in the sickness his partner suffered from. There's no way that's a coincidence. Or a trap. Uh, okay. Wouldn't make any sense. If Sinclair says MedTech Research is the place, that's where we need to go. Otherwise, I've got nothing else. Yeah, we'll go find it. What you're doing. No one's ever cared that much about me before. Even if it takes me the rest of my life. I'll repay this debt to you. I swear it. We're not doing it for you. We're doing it for your child. What's his name? For what's his name? Yeah, for the yo-yo company. Heinz? No, there's, there's a yo-yo company called Duncan. That's oh, okay, okay. For the yo-yo company. Like, nobody's going to get that fucking <laughs> joke. <laughs> Only kids that grew up in the 90s when yo-yos were a fan will get that joke. Can you walk the dog? Can you walk the dog? Remember when that was the big trick? Be just being able to do anything with the yo with a yo-yo was the big trick. <laughs> But the yo-yo master said nothing. He just kept on yoing. <laughs> Wasn't it one of the Back to the Future movies where that guy is spinning a yo-yo in the first few minutes and some guy goes, oh, nice yo-yo. He's like, aw, and he puts it in his pocket. What? No, that never happens in that movie. I, it's from some movie. I can't remember which I, I'm sure it's from some <laughs> movie, but it's not from Back to the Future. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Marty McFly is too cool to use a yo-yo. <laughs> he rides a skateboard. <laughs> and he hangs out with an old scientist dude. <laughs> Because they're illegally copying porno tapes and then selling them on the black market. Is that really the plot? That's the reason why he hangs out with Doc Brown. <laughs> I gotta watch these movies. It's not, it's not in the movie. It's in the, <laughs> it's in the, it's in the, it's in the uh... Expanded like... Universe comics. Jeez, these things are hard to kill. Why does that one have a gas mask? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's not in the movie. It's in the original oh, pilot. Yeah. The original yeah. pilot doesn't count, just like the original pilot for Bob's Burgers have them being cannibals. Yeah, it's the original the original script for Back to the Future is kinda weird. Yeah. Like the time machine the time machine is a refrigerator. Huh? And the, the way they go back to 1985 is they bring the refrigerator on a trailer out to the Los Alamos test facility when a nuclear weapon goes off. Oh. That's the only way they can get the energy for it. I see. And then in the in the movie they changed the time machine to a DeLorean. And then they made the energy for it a bolt of lightning, ah. which is a much better change. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That's one of the few film series that I'm like, oh, it's it's perfect. It's the entire every trilogy. single, every one of them is just as good as the other ones. 
I've not watched any of the Back to the Future movies, but I did play the Telltale video game based uh, on it. Of course you <laughs> did. All right, let's find that executive terminal. Sinclair said that's the only way we can override the facility's lockdown. Uh, I'm sorry, I was ogling the statue. It's very attractive. And I was focusing on the lumbering footsteps. Oh yeah, there are lumbering footsteps, huh? <laughs> Whoop! Ow! Yep, there they are. Uh, you probably weren't making those lumbering footsteps. <laughs> I don't like how the footsteps have gotten more rapid. These things. These things. His name is, is oh, that that was a maggot. I thought the the ghoul's name was maggot. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He's probably in this room. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, he spawned in a room that's <gasps> that cluttered, so he can't get past all the computer desks. Oh. <laughs> Sad. Sorry, cutie. Looks like your time's up. Whoa! <laughs> cutie. <laughs> oh no, I just read on a terminal that this place does not cure blue boils. It only cures purple pustules. We gotta find a different place. What the heck happened in here? This place is trashed. Sorry, McCready, this place only cures anthrax? If you wanna root through this mess, go right ahead. That, what do you think we're doing here, McCready? Oh, I don't want to dig through this stuff. You pick up the cure for his son. Oh, was that pre-work garbage? Toss it in the trash. Check the terminal on the desk over there. Ask for better work, or screw. Uh, Jacob's password. I didn't even mean to pick that up, but I, I did. I, I think you shoved it in your pocket. Alert override off. Vacuum cleaners for, thank God that worked. Let's find our way down to the sub-level. That's where medtech should be storing the cure. Vacuum cleaners for thank god that worked. Fixer sales are up 12% in seeded zones. Prevent sales 250% projection by 2078. Pre I don't know what prevent is. Oh, it's a new product. Prevent might be the drug that cures the boils. Oh, maybe. Uh, experiment 9823 test subjects reporting hair loss. Experiment 4786 antidote causing cysts in adult test subjects. Experiment 2312, test subjects reporting erections lasting more than four hours. Oh, goodness me. Test subject procurement costs up 36%. <laughs> Is it because one third of them are dying? It's it's because it costs more to, hey. Don't worry, I'll cover you. Pew, 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 pew. You don't have to make those sounds. It's a, it does it on its own. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Legs bleeding bad. <laughs> well, maybe you shouldn't have gotten attacked. Oh, boy. Maybe you should stop getting flanked! Ow! <laughs> wow, that guy took quite a few bullets to kill. <laughs> you, you think he's suffering from some of the side effects of that medicine? Hey, McCready, got good news and bad news. Good news, your son no longer has blue boils. Bad news, it's a that. Ooh, the reactor is radioactive. Another board game, hey! Hey, it's me, a snake. Are you gonna finish that, dear? And then I, I don't know what this guy says. I, something about his hat, and I no, I don't want to listen to you, snake. And the snake's like, I don't have to listen to some jerk wearing an ascot. I'm out of here. <laughs> well, it's, it's empty rooms. This is that's probably where they were keeping the uh, the test subjects. Like that guy. Like Jerky Boy in oh, here. Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so gross looking. <laughs> he would be making that noise if he still had a tongue with which to make that noise. <laughs> Let's just leave them in there. Yeah. They, they I really stay. don't think we need to open those doors. Nah. That's what this entire medical facility is. It's just the... Ugh, it's the... Smells horrible. I think we're the first ones down here in a long time. The sooner we find that cure, the sooner we can get the heck out of here. Pretty sure we're not alone. This medical facility is just the, the the dark side of Willy Wonka where he's doing like weird medical research. But it just turns everyone into like pumpkins or makes them like float into the air. And then when they float into the air, they float into a giant fan, only it actually chops them up into pieces that is by design. And then he uses the pieces to make more drugs. Well, I'm not gonna lick any of these guys to find out. I'm not licking any of these walls. Oh, he's having a bad time in there. Yeah, he's kind of making things not work properly. Let's just, uh... 
this door is gonna open somehow. Like, it's, it's gonna open. I'm gonna do something and that door is gonna open. Probably. Actually, you know what? No, I have an idea. I have an idea. Incoming! That's gonna be a good Christmas present. Easy. Is that what opened the door? No, I tripped the landmine. Mike, you <laughs> idiot! Now those are- Oh my god, I'm opening this door. You deal with him. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Everybody, bullets for all! Bane. Oh, you have friends, yo! Okay, there we go. Shut up! <laughs> Something isn't right. We should get out of here. Heads up. Whoa. We've got company. Oh, damn! We got it's invisible! invisible. Invisible ghouls! Yikes. He's dead now. Oh. I, I'm not taking that. I want to see if the sentry will just go like wham at me. Oh, it does! Look at that! Oh, it's a heavy machine gun. Oh, look at that! It's so cute! Yeah! Oh, it's adorable! Can we kill it now? How do they even fit so many? How do they fit the entire mechanism in it? I love how it wiggles as it shoots! Oh, it's so fun! What are you shooting at right now? I'm glad it brings you joy. Uh, I kind of wanted to see more of it. It was fun. Uh, nothing in life is permanent. Everything is temporary. Oh. I'm feeling eyes on the back. That's a lot of ghouls. Now there's... <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Why is this one an armor? Oh, oh an armor. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, I need an MP7. I actually need armor for this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Whoo. Yeah, I actually needed AP for that one. Holy crap. A little mini boss in here. That armor was so decayed at this point that I basically could have just punched through it with almost anything. Is it a Vault 76 stencil? Hey. Hey. Hey, look, there's some purple medicine. No, that's just Medex. Oh, prevent. We found it. Not touching anything. I don't even know what half this stuff does. Uh, well, what it does is be medicine. We did it. Holy crap, we actually did it. I guess we did. We just gave Duncan a fighting chance to live. I don't know how I'll ever be able to pay you back for this. I owe you big time. I don't know, man. You're already running quite the tab. I know I am. I've always been better at taking than giving. Maybe one day I'll learn to get my priorities straight. Anyway, the last step ahead of us is getting the cure to Daisy and Good Neighbor. With her caravan contacts, she's the only one I trust to get this to Duncan on time. This is the last favor I'm going to ask. I promise. Let's go. Wouldn't you want to see this medicine to your dying son, personally? I would think, I would think he would, you know? Maybe he's overselling his relationship with his son. Maybe he's a bad father. I, you know, considering that his son is dying and he's out here hanging out with a bunch of schmucks in the wasteland, <laughs> He was like, all right, Duncan, I'm gonna go find your medicine. It's like dad left for cigarettes six years ago and never came back. I'm pretty sure I saw him sitting at the Good Neighbor Bar two years ago. I was reminded on how American English and British English have differences, of course. Uh-huh. I, I, I could have sworn there was a, an anecdote that I heard. Some scholars are trying to combine the two. Uh, one of the concessions being that aluminium be the default pronunciation and spelling of aluminum. There's, there are so many different ways that words are spelled between the two, and it's words that should be the same. Do they pronounce titanium differently? <laughs> do we say aluminum and they say titanum? Yeah, do they, do they call it titanum? <laughs> titanum. <laughs> and do they call it aluminum and titanum? <laughs> Greetings, hello friends, hello, how are you? Based on the fact that you all have pipe weapons, I'm going to assume that you're going to try to kill me. You think you can just jump our claim on the USS Constitution and get away with it? What? <laughs> you want to go for the Constitution? Brother, that was like three years ago. <laughs> you think you can just jump our claim on the USS Constitution and get away with it? How about with someone else? You think you can just jump our claim on the USS Constitution? Oh, you have the exact same voice. <laughs> with it? You think you can just jump our claim on the USS Constitution? <laughs> It deleted him from existence. <laughs> you think you can just jump up? And that guy just kept on going. Yeah. Hey, man, he ain't bothering me. <laughs> Have a good day, buddy. 
Nothing says welcome like the stench of urine-soaked garbage. Speaking of urine-soaked garbage... McGrady, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> you haven't been avoiding me, have you? <laughs> How could I stay away from someone as cute as you, Daisy? Uh, you're a lousy liar. McGrady, where'd you go? But I'll just play stupid and pretend I don't know that. So, what do you need? I got it, Daisy. I found the cure to Duncan's disease. Oh my god. Oh, there is. That's wonderful news. How'd you do There we it? go. Last time you tried, the pharaohs almost chewed you to bits. I didn't do it alone. My friend here got me through med tech. Now, all I need to do is to get the cure into Duncan's hands. Can you help me? Of course, McCready. You've saved my behind more than once. It's the least I can do. It's okay. You can trust me. I swear I'll get the cure to Duncan. Who's gonna manage your store in your absence? She's got she's got caravans that work for her. Oh. Yeah. What'd McCready do to help you out? He lights all my cigarettes for me. I can't use a lighter anymore because my fingers keep sloughing off. Running a business in a town like Good Neighbor is a challenge. Let's just say I've had my share of unfriendly customers. And McCready's been there to help me handle the situation. Well, I mean, I guess if McCready trusts you, it's good enough for me. I appreciate that. He's actually not so bad. Once you get to know him. I'll get the sample on the first caravan leaving the Commonwealth. The driver owes me a few failures. And he's reliable. It will arrive at your homestead in no time, McCready. Thanks. You're a doll. Hey, do me a favor. Take care of McCready for me. He's one of the good ones. Well, like, like, take care of him? <laughs> or like, like, what, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> take him out. How convenient! We get to keep McCready as a companion, Daisy as a vendor, and that plot device of a son is gonna live! Yay! And then I'm sure that as soon as those drugs get to him, you'll bring your son here to meet us, and we'll get to have a fun conversation. What's that? That never happens, and you never you never hear of this ever again? Huh! Let me read the dossier on Robert McCready's son, Duncan. <clears throat> His first name is Robert? <laughs> yes. Duncan has developed a disease. It okay. is revealed in this quest that McCready has been trying to find a cure for him. Duncan is mentioned in Fallout 4. The end. <laughs> That's it. Hold up. I think we need to talk. What, what, what's going on? After helping me get Duncan's cure for med tech, I figured I owe you something. And I always pay my debts. Here. I wanted you to have this. <laughs> hey. Oh. Hey, wait a minute, McCready stole this from Whispering Hills! How dare you, McCready! Oh, I can't believe you! What a thief! My wife Lucy gave this to me right after we met. I, uh, I told her I was a soldier and she made it for me. Never could bring myself to tell her the truth. Is, is she dead? That I was just a hired killer. And the soldier story was the best thing I could come up with. I didn't want to lose her because of what I was. She's a soldier in what military? God's army! Did you ever find out? No. <laughs> it doesn't really matter anymore. That was a slow burn for a second. I died a few years back. We made the mistake of holing up in a metro station one night. We didn't know that the place was infested with ferals. They were on her before I could even fire a shot. Ripped her apart right in front of me. Jesus Christ! There was nothing I could do. I took everything I had to escape with Duncan in my arms. Maybe it would have been better if we died there with her. So not only did you have to deal with the trauma of ghouls ripping apart your loved ones, you braved that trauma to rescue your son's cure. That's overcoming adversity right there. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. I'm sorry too. Damn, I miss Lucy. No matter how bad things got, she was always there with a shoulder to lean on. It gave me... Well, it, it gave me the courage I needed to press ahead. To never give up. When she died, I thought that feeling was gone forever. Then I met you. You have the world's problems in your back, and here you are helping me with mine. Lending me your shoulder like Lucy did. I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. I had assumed that uh, she was taking care of Duncan. I guess you left Who him Who is taking care of Duncan? <laughs> I don't know! You were a bad dad! <laughs> anyway, thanks for hearing me out. Taking all that weight off my shoulders makes the journey a little easier, if you know what I mean. Speaking of which, it's about time we got back on the road, don't you think? Maybe you should go see your son! Alright, I uh, guess I'll head back and wait for you. I guess I'll head back and 
go see my son or something. How is it? How is it? How it? We're, well, Morgan's great. We, I, we, we love Morgan. Yes, we do. Life is pointless. Might as well spend it toiling away on your slave farm. <laughs> oh, it's not... I'm gonna get Morgan a present. What am I gonna get Morgan? I, we're, we're getting Morgan something. I wouldn't give her the ability to kill other people on the settlement. Put a put a good optic on this thing. Put the goofiest optic here. No, it's gonna have a good optic! Alright. Morgan, Morgan, I have a present for you. Even though you're oh, I got- I actually already got her a present! That was from last year, the Red Storm Conveyor, yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot I gave her that. What an eventful- How did my comfy pillow end up out here?! <laughs> Ooh! Good lord, stay out of my fucking room! Yes. You know what I- you know what I really want for Christmas? A lock on your door. I lock on my door, and it doesn't even have to be a good one! Just a lock that can't be picked with a bobby pin and a screwdriver. The wrong way, I might add. I don't think doors like that exist in this world. Great. Would you like to open these presents by the tree, Zach? They're all for you, but they're all decorative with nothing inside. Oh, so they're like department store presents where there's yeah. not actually anything in them. It's just a cardboard box that someone wrapped up. That's where I got them. Oh. It's fun reminding settlers how terrible their life is and watching the hope dwindle from their eyes. Oh, I can't believe I missed. Stupid case of ammo! Fucking G11. This thing sucks. <laughs> this optic's off, I know it! 